So last week I was walking down Times Square minding my own business when all of a sudden I get stopped by this man who must have been around his mid-30s. He was walking around with a kitam. And he just stops in a very nice and polite way. And he's like, oh, can I ask you something? So I don't really generally stop to talk to strangers, but um, he seemed like a genuinely nice person. So I said, yes, sure. And he asked me if I want to go out with him. And I was like, um, actually, I'm on my way somewhere. And he's like, oh, cancel your plans and go out with me. And I said to him, first of all, no, I said, I, I wouldn't do that. Um, and then second of all, I'm, you know, I'm on my way somewhere like this isn't really up for like discussion, you know, and he looks at me, and he's like, you are exactly the aesthetic that I'm looking for. Um, you are literally like my dream woman, please come out to me. And I said to him, first of all, like, you don't even know me, I could be a psycho. And second of all, I'm not just gonna, you know, cancel my plans because of like a random stranger that I met doesn't matter how nice you are to me, like, I don't, this is not going to happen. Um, and then he was like, so I'm trying to kind of like walk away. Um, he doesn't feel threatening or anything like that. So I wasn't like scared or threatened. Um, if it would have been like a situation where I would have felt unsafe, I would have obviously like not entertained and responded to the question. But he did seem like a genuinely nice human being who just wanted to connect. Um, so he was so then and then he comes closer to me as if to hug me. He's like and, and like I step backwards and he's like, oh, what, can I not even have a hug? And I'm like, no, like, I don't know you. This is personal space. And he's like, he doesn't understand why I'm denying him a hug. And I said, of course you don't understand. You're not like a beautiful woman who needs to spend her life trying to defend herself from people touching her body without her consent. So of course you're not going to understand what it's like <laughs> to, to, you know, to have to deal with that. So that shut him up and he was like, oh, like, I'm so sorry. Um, thank you for your time and whatnot. And then he left. So moral of the story, guys, no is a complete sentence. You don't have to give hugs to someone if you don't feel like it. Teach this to your kids as well. No one is entitled to a hug. You're in control of your personal space, okay? So thank you so much um, for listening to my story and wish you a beautiful rest of your day.